In this tutorial, we will see how to align bullets with text in unordered lists in Elementor and CSS. I have my Elementor page here and I will use the text editor widget. And here I will create some bullets that will be a little bit longer. So let's say that each of the bullets has, for example, two lines. I will just make this section a little bit more condensed so that actually we have uh, three lines in each bullet list. In each bullet list. Uh, then I will create the bulleted list out of my text. Go to the advanced panel and if you're using Elementor Pro, scroll down to this custom CSS field and we will edit our CSS code here. So the first thing I want to do is type selector list item. And here you can style the font size, for example, which in my case I will leave as it is. Uh, first, I want to remove the bullets uh, because currently the bullets are placed as so-called marker elements in Elementor. And uh, I want to make the uh, before pseudo element out of those uh, bullets. So first, I will type list style and none. This will remove my bullet list. Actually, it will just remove the bullets. And uh, then I will type also list style image. I will put none. I also want to create some spacing between my list items to begin with. So I will type margin bottom and maybe 20 pixels. And uh, I will type position relative. And now I want to edit, uh, I want to add the bullets. And how I will do that is type selector list item before and the content will be uh, basically empty display block if you watched uh, one of my previous videos uh, this is actually something similar that we are doing right now so i will just copy and paste the code uh, to my website you can find the link in the description and you can use that to create these uh, bullets very fast i will add some margins And uh, the last thing, so currently we don't have the bullets yet because we need to go back to our selector list item and I want to type display flex and align items center and margin bottom. Actually, we've already placed the margin bottom. So once you've added display flex to your list item and centrally aligned items, you can see that our bullets now, the bullets that we've created actually, that are not the default Elementor bullets, but they are created as before pseudo element. So instead of being a marker, this is a before pseudo element. And if I remove this align item center, you can see that uh, it doesn't actually apply uh, this central alignment. Now, if you want to change the size of your bullets, you can easily do that by changing the border here in the before pseudo element. So currently I've set it to 2.0.2 um, EMs. If I put this to be, for example, 4, you can see that it becomes bigger. If I set it to 1, it will be very small. And you can also set the color of your bullet. So very easily I can just change it here, put any hex color. For my, in my case, I will set it to gray. So that's it, that's how you centrally align a circular bullet with your text. Now if you want to use uh, a custom image and you also want it uh, to be centrally aligned with your text, uh, you can do this in a similar way. So let me just delete this code and I will start again by typing selector, list item, then again I want to set list style to none list style image again to none. This will remove my, my bullets, default bullets. Set the margin button to 20 pixels to create some spacing between the list items. So now I want to add my image and I will add it as a background. So I will put background URL and I will set my URL right here. So I have it already. Uh, which is basically a link to uh, the, the SVG file that I've uploaded to my WordPress media library. So if you go to your media, uh, click on an image from your media, here you can find file URL. So each file in your media library has its own URL. Just copy and paste that URL here. 
and uh, then in order to remove this uh, pattern we will type no repeat and I will also type 0 em this will centrally align uh, my image basically now we just need to adjust a few more things a background size I will set it to be maybe 1 em you can set this to anything you want I will set the padding left to be maybe 0 1.8 EMs. In my ca case, that's what it works. What works, and um, I think that's it when it comes to our list. The only thing I want to do is to remove this uh, padding on the left side for the whole unordered list. So I will just type selector unordered list padding left and set it to zero. And uh, there you go. You can also grab this code on the link provided in the description or the first pinned comment to this video. And if you do not use uh, Elementor Pro, but you have the free version, you can use the same code. The only difference would be that you would, uh, instead of typing selector in your, let's say, custom CSS and JavaScript plugin where you're putting your CSS, you will just uh, name your um, element. Uh, so if I click on this text editor widget, go to a layout, I would assign a CSS class to this. So, for example, let's put here custom bullet list. And I will remember uh, this name right here. And then I will just use the same code that I've used here. I will just copy and paste it. And I can remove my code from here for now. And click on update remember the name which is custom bullet list that's the name of the class if I go to my CSS here I will just type the name of the class which is a custom bullet list and uh, actually I will just paste the code and instead of selector I will type custom bullet list there you go and click on update and let's see if that made any changes on our page. There you go, you can see that it actually applied the same code, the same changes, uh, even with Elementor free. So just instead of selector, use your element class. That's it, I hope you liked this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.